Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. I'm going to show you something I've been working with. Um, this idea came from a YouTube channel on hydroponics. Uh, some of you may know it. It's called Huchos. Um, uh, he's a guy in Australia, and he does a lot of hydroponics. And he does some interesting stuff. Kind of different stuff he was looking at making a tray under his hydroponics lids that would help disperse the root systems because the root systems grow straight down something that would disperse the root systems and allow them to still get air and water nutrient but would let the the roots grow out and down. And he did, uh, this was something along his idea, and he was using peat, P-E-A-T, core, C-O-I-R, core. Um, you know, the long fibers, uh, or coconut core, uh, same, same kind of thing, uh, the long fibers. Well, I don't have any, and I thought the idea held merit, but I do have this and those of you who uh do a lot of herbal stuff uh probably going to be familiar with this this is old man's beard uh it is a very very powerful antibiotic um or a herbal um and uh, has a lot of medicinal uses i have mason jars full of this stuff because i pick it up after a uh, windstorm this that's a parasite that uh, grows on uh, hardwoods um so i have a lot of this uh sweet gums oaks stuff like that but i didn't have any coconut core so i got to thinking this is what i will do and i'm hoping this is going to do a double duty yeah it's a duty we are going to attach this to the bottom of this like this and then we're going to fill the tray up we're going to see how it does now i'm hoping that the really really strong antibiotic properties of this old man's beard are going to help inhibit any algae growth I'm hoping it doesn't kill the tomato plants we'll see um I never thought about it until um, I just didn't want to go to Walmart uh, because I knew they wouldn't have any of it, uh, any of the coconut core. You usually buy it in uh, big bales, and a bale lasts you dang near for the rest of your life because it's so compressed. This will also hold a lot of moisture. I'm hoping that, that the air roots or the rooting system as it goes out will expand and uh, the antibiotic properties of this um, lichen will help with any algae. I'll show you. I just used regular refrigeration tape on this and uh, heating and air tape. This is how it's going to sit with the uh, two inch neck cup. All you do pretty much is uh, cut or use a hole saw drill a two inch hole and uh, or a one and seven eighths if you want it really snug. This is how it's going to sit. It's gonna sit on the bucket like this. I do have some peat pellets in here just to help with moisture to keep uh, some moisture in this little tray and then this will all sit down into the water. I have the plant here these are Chadwick cherry tomatoes and you can see it has a really nice root system developing already and there are three plants in here 
So I will end up sacrificing two of them. This is a vining climbing tomato. Really aggressive, grows straight up. What we're going to do is gonna get some cup hooks, screw them into the ceiling. We're down here in the basement. And then we will suspend a wire all the way down over this and uh, we will train them up and they will have about i think the ceiling is eight or ten feet here maybe nine feet something like that uh, we will suspend it all the way up and let it grow and see how well it does um, you really need to uh, make sure you have enough liquid when you're doing uh, hydroponic tomatoes because they do take a lot of water or nutrients so, something else we're having to uh, work with. I'm going to have to pull out my notes because I haven't mixed up five gallons of uh, nutrient that much in a while. So, I'm going to have to refer to my notes. Okay, okay, guys, now we're back. And these are my notes. Um, every time we adjust and tweak and do stuff down here, uh, it goes in the notes. Um, these are three years running. Um, and I even have... Uh, Going back to uh, 2020 uh, for eggs, uh, egg production by the day, and uh, everything. So, actually, I got the outline for a book in here I'd forgotten about. So, anyway, uh, but we're going to be using uh, Scott's uh, Miracle Grow. Some people don't like it, I, you know, way, way she goes. Uh, I don't have any General Hydroponics Max Grow. Still hadn't gotten any, hadn't come in yet. So, where she goes, um, that's why I ended up switching. But uh, we'll be going with the Scott's Miracle Grow. It's 18, 18, 21. Uh, we'll be using two tablespoons per gallon. And then we'll be also adding um, magnesium sulfate, which is Epsom salt, which will be one tablespoon per gallon uh, as well and uh, then we will uh, continue to top it up this is going to be a cracky system it's what I was saying if you're using a system a hydroponic system to where you have a sump and the water is cycling through and everything and it like an NFT a nutrient film uh, technique to where the uh, uh, the roots are getting splashed or air sprayed with uh, the nutrient you don't have to have a really big reservoir right there as long as you have a reservoir somewhere down your system draws from circulates and circulates we're not using a pump in this system um i may use end up using an air stone just for the heck of it because i've got an air stone um but we will be just using a crack key method and that uh, we've we've talked about it a hundred times on the channel. As uh, as the plant uses the nutrient liquid, uh, it draws it down, and through transpiration and everything, and then air roots develop on certain part of the roots, and so they get the oxygen from uh, the air between the water and the lid, and they get the nutrient from the lower roots. It's a really cool system, and. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. So now I gotta mix all this stuff up and I gotta carry all this water down here. More to come. There we go. Uh, five gallons of nutrient with the uh, correct amount of um, granular fertilizer. How do you mix it? Save one of your old uh, blenders. And uh, this is a food grade bucket. If that is a thing for you, um, I didn't buy it for that reason. I bought it because it was the only bucket that Walmart had. Um, I don't care if they're in food grade buckets or not. It does not does not concern me. If it concerns you, then make sure that you do use food grade buckets. Um, this is the old net cup. And again, I'll show you. This is uh, the root system. And we're just gonna see which of these three will survive. Who knows, they may all 
survive. And there we go. This has the tray under it that is actually uh, soaking up water as well, or nutrient as well. And this will help, hopefully, let the roots spread outward as opposed to just going vertically. Again, um, I, I got that from uh, Hucho's, and uh, he did a, he has a really good video uh, off of it, and uh, he has a really good uh, YouTube channel, so you ought to take a look at his stuff. I'll try to include a link in there as well. Um, this is where we are. I'm going to set this thing over here in the corner, out of the way, and we will just see how well it does. Uh, let's go ahead. While we're sitting here looking at it. We are at almost two and a half inches. So, again, these are some that are using the uh, pool noodles. So, there you go. More to come. All right, guys. That is going to wrap up this video. And uh, it's just one of the things that we're doing. Consider, uh, if you're going to do any kind of growing indoors or outdoors even, it's not a bad idea if you at least chart it and get an idea as to what's going on, the weather conditions, if you're doing it outside, or the inside conditions, What if you're planting uh, inside in a grow room, or doing hydroponics, nutrient you mixed up, you know, that kind of stuff. It's good to be able to refer back. And this one goes back to 2020. So, you know, $3 notebook, set it down here, and uh, you'll see it's got all kinds of stains and coffee spills and all kinds of stuff on it. It's just, it's just what we use to uh, make track of the crazy stuff we do. That is going to be it for us. Hit that like and subscribe. Consider joining us on Patreon because you get a lot more of this stuff. Take care, you people. Now, I will let you in on this uh, before we wrap up. This is how we are going to suspend this tomato vine all the way up. Uh, what I'm going to do, the reason I wanted to use a chain instead of uh, like a, a wire or a cable is you can go to Lowe's and buy the key rings, the, the, the large ones that are, you know, probably about two inches all the way around and they have clips. We're gonna take this, slide uh, the key ring through this and thread them up through it. So it will be supported all the way up. I'll get some and I'll show you. That ought to work. And it'll last forever, it's metal. Take care of you people.